You, I can't see you. How do I look? Very professional. What do you mean? Look at my headphones. Don't they look super good? Yeah, they look great. They're like hovering over my head. <laughs> They're barely on. Oh, are we live? live? Yes. Now, I have never been able to, to test this myself. Yeah, I just have never been able to get it. I don't know why. Turn on mic for the headset. Who is that? I should have brought my computer. I don't. I don't know how to do rainbow. Uh, I guess we. I think I shall change my mind. This will go on my head, and this will be out the window. Okay, that'll be out the window. Bye bye. Oh, I can't hear anything like that, can I? I need to get my Y splitter in there. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing a mic test before our baseball game today with featuring Atchison High School against Heritage Christian. The game will be starting about 4 o'clock. Stay tuned for exciting baseball action live from Atchison High School in Atchison, Kansas. Right now, the Chargers are warming up after the Phoenix have already taken their warm-ups. So we'll be coming back to you very soon. Enjoy the game.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to Anson High School Baseball, featuring today the Heritage Christian Chargers against the Atchison Phoenix. Chargers are 1-0, and and Phoenix lost their home opener, so they're 0-1. I want to thank our sponsors, Daylight Donuts and Cornerstone Printing. Get them up there so I can see them, girl. <laughs> I want to thank our sponsors, Cornerstone Printing and Daylight Donuts, for sponsoring Etsy High School Sports and Live Broadcast. Uh, make, they make our lives a whole lot easier, and we appreciate their sponsorship. Waiting for the waiting the first pitch for tonight, our Pitchers for tonight, Chrisman for Heritage Christian, and for the Phoenix, Atchison, Yogi Purdy. And we'll be back in just a minute and bring you the opening pitch. Head coach for Anson High School is Casey Purdy. And I do not have a head coach for the Chargers. But I'm sure he's a good one. Umpire's talking it over with the coaches before the game starts. And it looks like we're going to get this game started pretty close to 4 o'clock. So hang on tight. It ought to be a good one tonight here in Atchison, Kansas. And before we get started, I want to, would like to mention this is an all-student broadcast. Students run all the cameras and all the equipment. Our director tonight is Averill Payne. Camera operators, Allie Mortensen and Susan Agnew starting off the game. Also, Jacob Turner out in center field giving our center field shot. Give us our center field camera for a second. There's our center field camera. That's a new addition to our cameras this year. Thanks to the administration for getting us a wireless system. Levi Honecker, uh, a long time ago graduate in his Eagle Scout project, built us a stand for a center field camera. We never had a way of doing it, getting it active. And we tried wires and all sorts of gizmos to make that work. Didn't work. And then they came up with a wireless, mic a wireless camera transmitter receiver that worked out real well. And so we'll bring you the battery today, the pitcher batter, pitcher catcher and batter. So that's kind of a fun camera. And later on, we'll show Jake about there. But there says a doubleheader tonight. We will be bringing you live the first game. The second game we will not be able to bring you tonight due to restrictions with our staff and time. So we apologize for that, but we will have the first game for you. Okay, time to start baseball. Up first for... Heritage Christian will be Manning. He is the center fielder for Heritage Christian. Left-handed batter. And Brooke is on our graphics right now. She's one of our camera operators and graphics. First pitch from Purdy is a ball. Foul ball, strike one. I'm just going blank. Are we still okay? Ball two. Two balls, one strike. Strike. 
Three balls and one strike to Manning. And the scoreboard out center field shows two and two, so we'll go even count. That'll bring it full. And I've got my screen back. So that's a nice shot. Here's the pitch. Ground ball back to the pitcher. And it'll be an easy toss over for the young man. So pretty recording the first out. That'll go 1-3. That brings up Riley, third baseman for Heritage Christian. First pitch to him is high, ball one. I keep, it's, it's not blinking out on you, is it? Is it just me? Foul out to the left, so one ball, one strike. Check my connections here. Fly ball, deep left field is going to go off the fence all the way to the left field. That's going to be two, a double bagger. Ball comes in, gets away from second baseman. Good camera work there for our crew. So Heritage Christian picks up a long double. So a man on second in scoring position with one out. Brings up Burl, center fielder for Heritage Christian. That was at the base of the fence. Nice pitch from Purdy, strike one. Purdy checks the runner second. Ground ball back to Purdy. He's got the man, got the man trapped. Oh, good camera work by our camera crew. Keep it going, camera crew. Got him. Good play by the, good play by the Phoenix, and I'm going to, Say great play by our camera crew. Averill, fantastic work. Not sure I'm going to record, record all that on my scorecard, but. So two outs, and that brings up Sarnicki, Sarnicki. I hope I said that, saying that right. First baseman for Heritage Christian. A line drive off the right, off the first baseman's glove. So strike one. Almost had that hot shot back to the first baseman. I really have to compliment Averill and the camera crew who did a fantastic job on that last play. This is only our second game this year, so very impressed with them. A little high inside, ball one. Foul straight back, strike two. One ball, two strikes. Fly ball center field, shallow center fielder. That'll be caught by the Phoenix center fielder. So, one hit that inning for Heritage Christian. No walks, no runs. We're going to the bottom of the first inning. That'll bring up Norris, Purdy, Jeter Purdy, and Boston Bruce for the Phoenix. Okay, breezy night tonight, but much warmer than our first game. Our first game was 
Oh, burr cold. I'm talking about cold. The only person warm that night was Joni watching from her back of her house. Another look at our field. I want to thank our camera crew today. It's still is a little bit chilly out there today. It is a bit warmer and the sun feels nice. And for those wondering, we have almost an entire female crew tonight. So those wondering about equity in sports broadcasting, well, myself and Jacob, and we're in the minority tonight. Pretty soon we'll get Ivy Wolf over here, and she'll be helping us out tonight. Brooke's been working our, our scoreboard. Do we have our scoreboard up? Oh, okay. I just, I've been watching the camera work so well, I didn't even notice the scoreboard. <laughs> I've been so impressed. Umpire dusts off home plate, and we're getting ready to play ball on the bottom of the first inning. Norris is up first. He's the center fielder. Got, he ended the inning for the Chargers last inning, catching the fly ball in shallow, shallow center. First pitch to him, pop fly. It's going to go to shortstop, and the shortstop gloves it. So one up, one out, one pitch. So first batter is out. Brings up Jeter Purdy, the catcher for tonight, brother of the pitcher. First pitch to Jeter is a strike. Nice camera work. Nice poke by Jeter Purdy. It's going to go to left center. It's out over the left fielder's head. Center fielder picks it up and gets it into the infield. And Jeter Purdy is on second base with a long... Fly ball to left center. One out, one on for the Phoenix. And that brings up Boston Bruce, shortstop. Boston's been known to have quite the hot bat. So hot. Last game, they made sure they walked him in a critical situation. Here's his first pitch. Eager fouls it off straight back. Had a good cut at the ball. Pitcher for Heritage Christian is Christman. No balls, one strike to Bruce. Beautiful day. A little bit on the chilly side, but not frigid cold. Low, down low, ball one. Nice crowd on hand. few folks from the Chargers making it up today. Quite a nice line of play, uh, spectators for the Phoenix. Ball two. Two balls, one strike to Bruce. There's our scoreboard. It's, uh, there's one, uh, one out, and we have two balls, one strike count. We have a runner on second. Three balls, one strike. There we go. I think our scoreboard's all caught up now. And we're at the bottom of the first, by the way. It says top of the first, but we're at the bottom of the first. We're getting the kinks worked out. Boston Bruce with a good stick. Long foul ball. So that he makes it a full count. Three balls, two strikes. There we go. Bottom of the first. We do have one out, though, Brooke. Oh <laughs> and a man on second. And our man on second moved, it looks like. Ground ball to the left side. It's going to get through. Jeter will stop at third. Bruce comes in to second as the throw comes home. So Boston Bruce... 
with a single. But he makes it to second. Sending Jeter Purdy to first. Uh, to third, rather, excuse me. So our we got runners on second and third. And that brings up pitcher Yogi Purdy. Two runners in scoring position with one out for the Phoenix. Purdy jumps on the first pitch, fouls it straight back. Boston Bruce making sure he or watching the ball carefully. Took second on the throw coming home. Trying to keep Purdy at third, which it did. Pitch to Yogi up the left line, and that will just be foul. So no balls, two strikes. Having a little trouble with our scoreboard trying to get it fixed tonight. So we'll try and get our scoreboard up and running for you. Jeter Purdy at second, or third. Boston Bruce the second. No balls, two strikes to Yogi Purdy. One out. Single for Purdy up the middle. That's going to bring home Jeter Purdy and Boston Bruce. So the Phoenix are on the board with two runs as Yogi Purdy drives in both with a single. And that will bring up Brandon Bell with Purdy at first base. So, man on first. Okay. Bell with a long foul up the left line. Phoenix batters are very aggressive tonight. Two runs are in the bottom of the first inning for the Phoenix. Pitch is high. Yogi pretty getting a good lead off first. We have uh, two, two, two runs for the Phoenix. Our, our count is one and one. Not now. Charges, misses it, bobbles it. There's an error on, okay, there's an error on the shortstop on, on the play. That gives Bell, he's on first. Sending Yogi Purdy to second. Still one out. And that brings up Bunnell, third baseman for Atchison. So first and second are our runners. And the zero zero is a fresh batter. We have one out. And nice poke by Bunnell to left field. They're waving home and they're gonna stop Yogi with a good throw. So the bases are now loaded. Nice hit by Bunnell. So Bunnell with a nice hit. Blows the bases up for Stout. Deacon Stout now up to the plate, second baseman. And they're gonna let Yogi Purdy come off for a runner since he's the pitcher. So bases are juiced for Mr. Bell, or Mr. Stout. Bell is on at first. Here's the first pitch to him. Still one out in the inning. Again, jumping on the first pitch, going out to center field. The ball is caught. The runner will tag, and he will score. Other two runners stay put. So Stout flies out to the center fielder. That's two outs, but he gets an RBI. So that's the third run in for Atchison. First and second are our runners, and that brings up Barnes. I'm sorry? No. Uh, the man on third is home. So we have second, first and second, two outs, and a brand new batter.
First pitch is in the dirt. Catcher blocks it. And we have three runs are in. No, in the first inning. First inning, two outs. First and second. Still working on our scoreboard. One ball, no strikes. Ball two. Barnes can get on. That would load him up once again. And the Phoenix will have batted around in the first inning. Swing and a foul ball. So again, we have three runs in for the Phoenix, two outs. Two balls, one strike. Ball is low, three balls, one strike. Chrisman has been rocked here in the bottom of the first inning by the Phoenix. On deck is Boldridge. Strike on the outside corner. Full count, payoff pitch coming up. Bruce ran the pitcher to a full count before getting a base hit. Pitcher checks on the runner. Runners are off and going, and the ball is hit up the line foul. Runners will begin be off with the pitch. Here it comes. And he's hit by the pitch. So that will bring up Boldridge, and the bases are once again loaded. Boldridge, the left fielder for Atchison. Comes the bat with bases loaded. Uh, zero balls, zero strikes. New guy. And he's swinging at the first pitch. And it was... It was down the line. And they're going to call it a long foul ball. So a strike. Outside ball one. One ball, one strike. Here's a st stick, and that's going to go. He got around on it too fast. And that's another foul ball, long foul ball. One ball, two strikes. The ninth batter to come to the plate this inning. There it is. It just it has a mind of its own. Yep. <laughs> my, mommy, my TV monitor keeps going in and out for no apparent reason. One ball, two strikes. He hits the ball hard. That's what's happening. I, mean, just, I don't know. One ball, two strikes. Bases loaded. Two outs. Little pop up on the infield. First baseman pulls it in. So the Phoenix are retired in the bottom of the first inning, sending all nine batters to the plate. So hits a bunch of them. One walk on a hit batter. Three runs are in. And hits wise, according to my scorecard, we go one, two, three. Four, five, six hits, according to my scorecard. 
One walk, three runs are in. So after one inning, Phoenix lead three to nothing. And it will send up to the plate for Heritage Christian. Chrisman, the pitcher, left fielder long, and Harker, the designated hitter, will come to bat the first three batters of this frame. So we start the top of the second inning. Heritage Christian with one hit in the first inning. And that was by Briley. Again, I want to thank all our student volunteers for making this broadcast possible on this chilly night, not freezing cold like the last game, but chilly night. How many hits for Phoenix? Um, uh, Phoenix have three. You are right on right now. Errors. Don't, we're not doing errors. Oh, thank God. We're, we're not, we're not going to worry about hits or errors on your side of it. We're just worried about for our scoreboard uh, what you got. Okay, here, working the kinks out of our second game, our second broadcast. Purdy's first delivery is a strike. So strike one to Chrisman. Swing, strike two. Pitch, pretty pitching from the, oh, foul ball. Got a piece of it. Pretty pitching from the stretch. Oh, pop fly to the second baseman, knocks it down. Gets away on the throw. Throw goes down to second. And got him. Good camera work. Wow. I'm so impressed with my camera crew today. So that's going to go down as 2-4. Technically, that was an error on the second baseman for dropping the, the ball. Second baseman dropped the ball, threw it to the first Got by the first baseman. Okay, we've got a bunt. Purdy picks the ball up, throws him out. So 1-3 on that one. Purdy's been busy behind the plate. That's our first bunt of the season. So two outs recorded so far in the top of the second inning. Jeter Purdy throwing out both runners. Next batter up, ball to second, and throw out. Three up, three down. So 4-3 on the put out. No hits, no walks, no runs. One air technically, but I'm not going to be keeping those tonight. So at the end of one and a half, the score is 3 nothing still. And that will take us to the Phoenix bottom of the frame. I want to thank our sponsors real quick. Daylight Donuts and Cornerstone Printing for sponsoring our live broadcast and sports. Really appreciate their support through all this. You want some yummy donuts, go down to Daylight Donuts. I love their donuts. And the shirts, we all have pretty much our broadcasting shirts, which are wonderful, from Cornerstone Printing. Appreciate them. Cornerstone Printing. Sadie is part of the, the baseball family of Purdy's. So, definitely all in the family there. Start the second inning for Atchison. They start with the leadoff batter, Norris. They did bat around in the first inning. They had six hits, one walk, and three runs in the first. So, Norris getting his second time up. Norris was the first out. He popped out to the shortstop his first time up. Here's the pitch. Just missed, ball one. No, ball one. Ball. Next pitch, misses, ball two.
Swing and a miss. Strike one. Two balls, one strike to Norris here in the bottom of the second inning. Ooh, high and tight. Ball three. Three balls, one strike to Norris. Getting a few clouds overhead now. Not quite so bright and sunny as it was. Oh, Norris took a strike. Full count. Norris digs in. Good poke up the left line. It's going to be a base hit. The ball is down. He'll round first and stay at first. So Ance Norris gets on the board with his first base hit of the night. Bringing up Jeter Purdy. Jeter responsible for two of the recorded outs last inning against the Chargers. His first time up, he had a long double to hit the base of the fence out in left center. And the runner is off. And so Norris is going to get a stolen base. And the first pitch to Purdy was a ball. So Norris on in scoring position. One ball, no strikes to Purdy. One ball, no strikes. Ooh, swing and a miss by Purdy. One ball, one strike. Fantastic work by our production crew tonight, camera crew and director. Pop straight up, coming back toward the right side. Catcher en route. It's just going to make it out of play. One ball, two strikes to Jeter Purdy. Lance Norris with a base hit to start off the frame. Stolen base. Puts him in scoring position. Again, this is a doubleheader night. We are bringing you the first game of the doubleheader. In the dirt. Ball gets away. Norris will go to third. Again, I can't overstate, folks, how much how happy I am with our camera crew and our director tonight. Oh, my gosh, you can see everything. That's two balls and two strikes to Purdy. And now the runner is 90 feet away. And that will bring the count full. Catcher Jeter pretty stands in. Man on third. Nobody out. Up the left line. That'll score a run. Throw goes across the diamond. They got him. But that's an RBI for Purdy. And that will be a 5-3 on my scorecard. But a productive hit. That takes our Phoenix up to four. And nobody on base. And that brings up Boston Bruce with nobody on base. There we go. I better mark that down like I should. Strike one to Bruce. Just misses. One ball, one strike. Our scoreboard says two balls. Don't know if I agree with that. Don't know if it matters now. Long fly ball to left field. Taken over by the shortstop. Oh, it's a shortstop. The center fielder. Good camera work once again. Going to have to give that to the center fielder for the put out, even though he was in front of the left fielder. I don't know if I would have liked that if I was the left fielder. That brings up pitcher Yogi Purdy. Yogi had a base hit and scored in the first inning. First pitch to him is high. 
Uh, yes. Nobody says no. We have nobody on. Nobody on. We may now. Nope. Foul ball. Just kept it on the near side of the line. So one ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. Nobody on base at this moment. One run in. Foul back. One ball, two strikes to Yogi. Ball gets away. Ball two. Two balls and two strikes. Evens up the count. One run in this frame for the Phoenix. Scored three in the first frame. So far, one in the second frame. Got him looking. First strike out of the night for their team. And pretty strikes out for the third out. So, we've got one, one hit, one run. No walks and one strikeout. So the Phoenix, after one inning, lead four to zero against Heritage Christian. And that brings up for the Christian, Heritage Christian. They will be, uh, they'll have a Brant, Morgan, and then the top of the order, Manning. So Brant, Morgan, and then Manning to bat. Yogi Purdy back out for his third inning of work. I, I don't want to sound like a broken record, ladies and gentlemen, but I just could not be more happy or proud of our camera crew and staff tonight. They've been doing a fantastic job showing you the sights and sounds. I cannot see part of the field, and so far I've been, I've been able to see everything. So... The young ladies that are running the cameras tonight and the directing are doing a clinic on how to do baseball. And Yogi finishes up his warm-up tosses, and that will bring up Brant, the second baseman, his first time to the dish tonight. Here's Christian looking to get on the board here in the third inning. Pretty got him up and down one, two, three last inning with Brother Yogi, or brother, brother Jeter, being part of two of those outs. Here's the first pitch. Strike one. I would say the players are liking, liking this warm weather. Foul ball. Hope you folks are enjoying our center field camera. Appreciate it from Mrs. Downey, our principal, and uh, for helping get us that camera working this year. And I want to thank Levi Honecker, the Eagle Scout, for building us the platform that we have out there. And our lonely cameraman out there, Jacob Turner, for running that camera. He's ran it the first, pretty much the first two games. Brooks been out there with him, subbing him a little bit off and on so he doesn't stay out there by himself. One ball and two strikes. And a swinging strike. There's a strikeout for Purdy. So one up, one down. Purdy records his first strike out of the game. And that brings up Morgan. Morgan is a shortstop. First pitch is a strike. Swing and a miss, strike two. Yeah, swing and a miss, pretty. I don't know what I just what happened to my scorecard. I do know what just happened to my scorecard. I put it in the wrong frame. 
podcast. <laughs> I'll be having a moment. Okay. Two up, two down for Heritage Christian. And that's pretty second straight strikeout. Takes us to the top of the order to Manning. Manning grounded out to Purdy the first inning. The first pitch to him is a ball. So one ball, no strikes. We've got 0-1, by the way. No balls, two strikes to Manning. Okay, that takes us two balls and one strike. We're going to try and get our scoreboard working here. Our director's doing double duty right now. Now it's two and two. You almost had it. <laughs> would have left it up one more second. You would have had it. <laughs> That's okay. I made my own mistakes on my scorecard in this, this frame. Two balls, two strikes. They're, the umpire is saying it was hit by a pitch. The young man at the dish seemed a little confused by it. He wasn't in any hurry to go. So apparently Yogi hit him. I think it was a surprise to Manning. That brings up Briley. Briley Flied out to left field his first time, left center. First pitch to him as a strike. That'll be low, down. Ball one. One ball, one strike. To Briley. Can Briley fly out the first time? Throw over to first base. Check on the runner, runner back safely. On that one, you can switch to the pitcher, and it should have it, I hope. Towering foul ball, straight back, one ball, two strikes. Thank you. One ball, two strikes, the runner is off. And it doesn't matter, strike three. So Purdy with three strikeouts in the inning. One hit batter, if you want to call it that. No hits, no walks. Well, the one hit batter and no runs, but three strikeouts for Purdy. Now I'm going to make a little mark on my scorecard for that. And that brings us to the top of the... Fourth inning. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Brooke. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I just had a senior moment. <laughs> I just, I just, I couldn't read my scorecard. Couldn't figure it out until you told me. No, it's the bottom of the second, of the third. Okay, that makes my scorecard look a whole lot better. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, bless your heart. Okay, no, thank you. No. <laughs> okay, I couldn't figure out why my scorecard didn't read right. Just because we're in the bottom of the third inning. Okay, uh, that makes me feel better. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's been a long day. Okay, camera crew's doing. Our crew's doing a great job. I'm not happy with myself right now. Okay, that brings up for Atchison Bell, Bunnell, and Stout. Bell, his first time up in the first inning, got a single and was left stranded on stranded on base, one of the few that was left stranded. So our score is four to zero in favor of the Phoenix. And Bell is up. And Brandon pokes it through the infield for a base hit. So he's on the second time tonight with a single. Brings up Bunnell. Bunnell had a single up the left line. His first trip up in first inning. Okay. 
Pokes it down the left side again, but that one won't go fair. That'll stay foul. No balls, one strike. Man on, man on first. Nobody out. Barely got a piece of it, fouled it back. No balls, two strikes to bundle. We are in the bottom of the third inning. Score is four to nothing. No balls, two strikes. Bundle with a poke. It's going to go deep. Got over the left fielder's head. Right up against the fence. Missed, missed a home run. And that'll bring Bell to third base. Check that. See if I can find out. To... So a long, long single for Bundle. Can you verify for me if we got a man on third or second? First and second. I didn't know if he'd end up going to third. That bring up that brings up Stout. Stout fly deep to left field his first time up. Now he fouls it over to the left side. The third baseman's gonna get it in foul ground, so the first out. So that'll be a five. Hi there, boss. So a pop out for Stout. That's our first out in the frame. Barnes is up next. He got a hit by a pitch his first time up. That first inning, we sent all nine batters to the plate. Man on first and second. His chance to get an RBI. Ground ball foul. Up the left side. Hey, recruit Mrs. Downing to keep score. <laughs> oh, there. <laughs> Run the <with> graphics. <laughs> In the dirt, ball one. One ball, one strike. <laughs> We're shorthanded tonight. <laughs> one ball, one strike. Two Barnes. First and second. Pitcher checks on the runner at second. Gives him a look. Here comes the pitch. Good eye by Barnes, the first baseman. Two balls, one strike. So two balls, one strike. There's a poke. It's going to get through the infield. And he'll score a run. Ball's going to go over his head. And that's going to send Barnes to second base. So we have runners at second and third. So Barnes ends up at second base on the air and throw. And that brings up Boldridge. Boldridge popped out to the, second, uh, for, to the first baseman in the first inning. So one run is home. Second and third are runners, one out. Boldridge looks at a strike. Boldridge looking to get an RBI with runners in scoring position. I foul, pop foul straight back. Catcher look, gives it a look, but it's on the play. No balls, two strikes to Boldridge. Getting one run in, one run in this inning on an RBI from Barnes. Bundle on third. Barnes on second. Umpire is going to do a little. Housekeeping, clean plate. So Bol Boldridge, no balls, two strikes. Home plate's all cleaned up and ready to go. And we're back to action.
Pitcher comes set. Here's the pitch. In the dirt, good catch by the catcher. Keeps a run from scoring. One ball, two strikes. Look at that, look at that shot right there, Mrs. Downey. Look at that shot. That's just a wonderful shot. One ball, two strikes. Good poke up left side. A run will score. Throw across the diamond. They got him. So a run will score. That's going to go as a 5-3 put out for the second out of the inning. And that brings up the top of the order in Norris. Two runs are in this inning. Ball and dirt, ball one. Uh, we don't have a runner on third anymore. And it's one ball, no strikes to our to Norris. Norris has had flied out and singled so far in this game. Runner on second. Pitcher steps off the rubber. Coach Purdy calling a play out there. One ball, no strikes. Two outs. Runner second. One run in, two runs in this inning. Strike. Evens count up, one ball, one strike. Two runs in, man on second base, that's Barnes. Pitcher comes set. Here's the pitch. Low ball two. Two balls, one strike. Norris scored in the second inning, so he's crossed the home plate today. Ooh, looked pretty good from here, but three balls, one strike. Chrisman looks in. Going to get to the outfield. And Norris with an RBI. <coughs> and he's up there with a single. And they're going to talk it over the coaches for the Chargers are going to talk it over and see if they want to leave Mr. Chrisman in still or give him the rest of the night off. Still talking it over. Catcher and the staff. So far, one, two, three runs are in. We got a man on first. Don't think we have one on third anymore, do we? Do what? Yeah, catch me up. <laughs> Is he a third? I thought he scored. He didn't score? Oh, he didn't score. So who's on third? Brody. Brody's on third? Brody Barnes? Yep. Okay, my bad. I thought he scored. Well, I will correct my scorecard then. Okay. They stopped him at third last inning. Okay, I thought Norris had himself an RBI there. Sorry, Lance. So we have runners. So our score, our scorekeeper there is correct, first and third. And we are having a pitching change for the Chargers. And that looks, Brooke, you probably got better eyes. Can you tell us the number when he pitches? Pitching right now? Yeah, I think it's number 18, isn't it? 16. 16? Number 16, Spicer comes in to pitch for the Chargers. So I'll go find our pitcher over there and pencil him in to see if that's where he'll be batting, if he's going to be batting. So 
So Spicer comes in in the third inning to pitch for Chrisman. And he's finishing up his tosses. That will bring up Jeter Purdy. Jeter Purdy has gotten a double and, and scored in the first inning. Second inning, he grounded out to the third baseman. And he's looking for his third time to the dish. He's got a runner in scoring position with Barnes. And Norris is on first. So Jeter Purdy comes up to face this young man for the first time. Spicer checks the runner at first. He runs. He's off and running. And no throw down to second. So we'll get a stolen base for Norris. That's his second stolen base of the day. And pretty is one ball. Ball is deep. Off the wall. And another double for Purdy. A deep ball to left field, and that will score. Did that score both runners? Did Norris stop at second or, or third, or did he come in too? What? We don't have anybody on third, right? So you should have one, two, three, four runs in this frame, according to my. Yeah, okay, we, uh, okay, he scored. So Purdy picks up two RBIs on that one. Okay, you guys are on top of it. I'm trying to catch up. That brings up Boston Bruce to the plate with a runner in scoring position of Jeter Purdy. Jeter with his second double of the day. Getting two more RBIs to his total. And I'm not sure what is all going on right now. Something to do with trainer is out, it looks like. I think there was an issue with a catcher for uh, the Chargers. But we're back to action. So four runs so far in the inning takes us up to Eight runs for Atchison. And Boston Bruce up with a man in scoring position with two outs. Whoa, ball one. Again, the Phoenix are close to batting around the second time in this game. Bruce with a long shot. And it's going to be a long, long foul. Straighten that one out a little bit. You have a home run. That was a long foul ball. Very powerful young man. One ball, one strike. Two outs. Good eye. Takes it inside. Ball two. Bruce is at a single and scored and flied deep to the center fielder. Balls in the dirt. Pretty stays at home. So three balls and a strike to Bruce. Three balls and a strike, by the way. Pitcher checks on Purdy at second base. Foul ball, full count. Full count, we're one batter away from going around again for the Phoenix. They went through the order in the first inning. Four runs in for this inning. Purdy at second, Jeter Purdy, second base. 
a good poke. Ball gets down. He'll get an RBI. So Bruce with a single, scoring Purdy, who was running with two outs. And that brings up ninth batter of the frame, Yogi Purdy, the pitcher. Yogi has singled and struck out. Struck out his last time batting the second inning. Ball is low, ball one. Runners off, ball is low, stolen base for Bruce. And that's two balls, no strikes to Yogi. Three balls, no strikes to Yogi Purdy. Score is nine to nothing at this point. Runner in scoring position. Throw back, throw back to second base, checking on the runner. That's the first one I didn't see today. Our crew's done a really great job. Here's the pitch. And that walks the young man. So runners at first and second. And the Phoenix have batted around in the third inning. It all started with Bell with a single, and Bell is back up to bat. Pinch runner for Yogi, the pitcher. So Bell has a single, he has two singles in this game. First and second are the runners. Single right now would probably give the Phoenix another run. Pitcher checks the runner at second. Here's the pitch. Low. Ball one. Second pitch. Foul ball up the left line. Ball got through the infield. So he's got a third single of the day. And that scores Jeter Purdy. Uh, do we have first and third or first and second? First and second? Okay. Okay, first and second. This is going to get really confusing on my scorecard right now. That brings up Bunnell. Bunnell has two singles today. And his second time to bat this inning. So we have, oh, first and third or first and second? I want to say first and third. I have seen one second. So first and third is what we're pretty sure we have here. Bundles up. Foul ball. Hey, Avril, can we get a confirmation on the third base runner? It's on first, first and second. First and second? First and second? Yeah. It is first and second. Okay, we have first and second. We got to get a confirmation on that. That was a little errand in the throw, so one ball, one strike, two bundle. 
This is his third time batting in three innings. So we are now batting around in the third. There's a good poke by Bunnell. And Bunnell just hit a home run. So that's going to score three runs. That's eight runs in the inning. That 13, is that right? 13? Is it 13 out there? Yeah. Okay, good. 13 is what we've got there, and 13 is what we've got in here. Perfect. There's eight, nine. How many runs did we score this inning? We scored nine runs this inning. That's what I've got. Okay, nine, ten. Okay, that's what I got. I can do my arithmetic. So, so far in this inning alone, we've scored nine runs. And Bunnell with a home run. So, right now, our score is 13 to nothing in the bottom of the third inning. And that's going to send up Stout. So a three-run RBI for Bunnell. We're still in the third inning. Stout up. Stout looking for his first base hit of the day. Swing and a miss, strike one. There are two outs in the frame. Nine runs in the inning. Ball one. Ball two. Two stout. Young man says he wants to have some fun. And he gets his first base hit of the night. A single. And that brings up Barnes. Barnes has gotten two base hits and scored once. Okay, I'm going to check the number on. Can we see a number on him? Because I'm not sure. That's not Barnes, I don't think. Number 12? I think that's mine. That's Harris. Oh, Harris. Harris. Wait, Hank Hank. Hank Harris. Hank Harris is take, just took a strike. Strike one. Coach Pretty doing a little substituting here. Foul straight back, strike two. A little bit high. One ball, two strikes to Harris. Man on first. Nine runs in it. On the inning, in the inning. Good poke by Harris. The outfield, it will drop for a single. So Harris is on board with a base hit. So first and second for the Phoenix. And that will bring up Miles Greenlee. So Greenlee comes to the plate for the first time this game. 
We have first and second, two outs. A very long third inning for both teams, especially for. Here's Christian. Ball up the third baseline. Caught by the third baseman and stepped on the bag. So that will end the Phoenix threat here in the third inning. So nine runs on a bunch of hits. <laughs> so I'm not going to even try and total up the hits. There was a bunch of them that, that frame. Phoenix batted around, gave it a shot at batting around twice. So that takes us to the top of the fourth inning. The score is 13 to nothing, the Phoenix on top. Heritage Christian will send up to the plate Burl, Sarnecki, and probably Spicer. We'll check on that when he comes to the plate. Take a second break. We'll be back in a second. Earl to the plate. That's strike one. We are in the fourth inning. No balls, one strike. Two strikes. No balls, two strikes to Burl. Burl reached first on a field choice in the first inning. Foul straight back. Young man stays alive. Here's the pitch from Pretty. And he gets a base hit. He's on base for the first, second time tonight. Sorry? Any outs? No. Yes. No. That's the first batter. I'm getting caught up. So man on first, nobody out. That brings up Sarnacki. He flied to center fielder his first time up. Brady checks on the runner first. Base hit for him, right up the middle. So the Chargers have something going on the in the fourth frame to start off the fourth frame. First two batters reach with singles. This is bringing up number ten. Crispin is batting. First pitch to him is ball. So we have first and second. Nobody out. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Purdy was bearing down a little bit on that one.
High ball two. Two balls, one strike. First two runners this frame for Heritage Christian have reached. Low ball three. Brady doesn't want to load the bases here. Ball right back to Purdy, throws the third. Gets the force play at third base, one out. So the first out recorded, so first and second are our runners. Ball hits straight back to Purdy. He threw out the young man. That brings up Long. First pitch to him was a ball. So we have one out in the inning. One out in the inning. One ball, one strike to Long. First and second. Pretty checking on the runner at first. Foul ball, straight back. One ball, two strikes. Pretty looking to pitch his way out of his first test of a jam of the game. Low, ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Two on. Two balls, two strikes, two on. First and second. Got him looking. Young man thought it was on the inside, bailed, and it was a looking strikeout. So that's out number two. Pretty one batter away from getting out of this inning. This will be Hark Harker. Sorry? Strike. Yep, that was strike three. That was actually a backward K, you might call it. No, two outs. Two outs. First pitch is a ball. Ball one. Ball two to the Harker. Harker grounded out in his first time up in the second inning. There's a strike from Purdy. Two balls, one strike. We are in the top of the fourth inning. Two, two balls, one strike. And leaving up the count, two balls and two strikes. Purdy was three strikeouts last frame. Has won this frame. Looking to get a second this frame. High and tight, full count. Three balls, two strikes. Two men on base, first and second. Got him looking, strike three. Two looking strikeouts in the frame for Purdy. That's his fifth strikeout. So we got a couple of hits this inning. No walks, no runs. And your score remains 13 to nothing as we go to the fourth inning. In the fourth inning, if I try and read my scorecard correctly, the Phoenix will send to the plate the top of the order. And that will be, in theory, Norris, Jeter Purdy, and Boston Bruce. That will be the first three batters of the frame. Depending on substitutions, the, your score is 13 to nothing. I want to thank our sponsors. Let's do a sponsor. Oh, they're right there. You guys are reading my mind. So I want to thank Daylight Donuts and Corner Spoon Printing for sponsoring our live broadcasts, our sporting broadcasts on all of our broadcasts. They sponsor everything, folks. Wonderful people at both places. Donuts are yummy, and the shirts are beautiful. Do I want to say beautiful or cool looking? Cool. Cool sounds more manly. I, should say, I shouldn't say beautiful. They're cool. They're cool looking. So, <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Joni, I don't know what to say. I'll say hi to Joni, who's sitting out in deep left field. 
in her house watching from her back window. Hopefully Coco's watching tonight. Speaking of Coco, I had some hot cocoa over there earlier. Hopefully she's with us. And our pitcher is now number 16. Make sure I get this right for the heritage. It's Spicer is back out for a second inning of work. And Norris coming up. Norris has two base hits today and a run, two runs scored. So he's crossed the dish twice today and had two singles. As we are now in the bottom of the fourth inning. Sunny but chilly afternoon. Pop up. And the left fielder could not reel it in. Foul ball. So a long, high foul ball for a strike after all that. That's almost one that uh, that uh, you might get, uh, what's his name out there, Jacob, to, to get on something like that. He might be able to see that one better than almost anybody. Here's the second pitch to, to Lance. Ball gets down, so Lance is on base for the third time with another base hit. And that brings up catcher Jeter Purdy. Jeter Purdy has had two doubles in the frame in the game. Norris takes a conservative lead off, lead off first. A little pitch, but Purdy swung at it. Ball strike one. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Coco just said, I'm always watching with some googly eyes. <laughs> Strike one to Jeter Purdy. Norris on first. Nobody out. Good poke by Purdy. And it's going to be a foul ball down the left line. So no balls and two strikes. 0-2. No balls, two strikes to Purdy. Get our score car, scoreboard caught up here. That'll be ball one to Purdy. So one ball, two strikes. There we go. Thank you. Spicer checking on the runner first. Conservative lead. Ball low outside. Ball two evens up the count. Two balls, two strikes. Here's that center field camera. Hi, Jacob Turner. Foul ball up the left line. Purdy stays alive. Phoenix coming off a nine-run third inning. And that's a dinger. That's a home run for Jeter Purdy. So there's two runs scored this inning so far. A base hit and a home run. Jeter Purdy with a home run. We've had a home run by Jeter Purdy and, and also by Bunnell. So Colton Bunnell and Jeter Purdy now with home runs. That brings our score to 15. I going to guess that is the game at this point. I think we just 15 run ruled them in the game. So ladies and gentlemen, Jeter Purdy just put an end to the game.
with 15 runs in the bottom of the fourth inning. That's going to be the final score for you from Edson High School for the first game of this doubleheader. That's our game. Let's do our sponsors. Uh, again, we are only bringing you the first game of a doubleheader because of the timeliness of the game and uh, our low staff tonight. So we'll put up our sponsors and thank Daylight Donuts and Cornerstone Printing for sponsoring Atchison High School's live sports and broadcasting. And from Atchison High School, I want to thank our crew, Susan and Allie, and who's up on top? Ivy, Brooklyn, and our director, uh, Averill. And way out there in center field, have, have somebody take Jacob real quickly. And get Jacob out there. And way out there in center fielder. And, and have Jacob wave. And there's Jacob all out there <laughs> waving. And calling from Atchison High School. I want to thank you for watching. And we'll see you again next week for our next broadcast. Good night.